All right, hello, welcome to RC Hacker. My name's Mark. Now, this is a follow up to some of the open LRS testing I've done. If you remember before, I made this, uh, it's probably hard to see, I'm trying to keep out of the sunlight here, but this is the uh, the dipole, well, the V antenna, which I tuned in the last, one of my last videos. And I've got the, the same, same test case here. I've got the camera on there and we're gonna go for a little walk and try this out. So, let's go. I'm gonna range, I'll hold the radio up here so we can hear if there are any beeps from it, lost packets. Now that was my first beep. I'm at the point where the FR Sky Gear lost its uh, reception entirely. Now I'm going down below the tree level and the ground level, some bit around the corner down here. Now I'm back in the same final place as last time and all I've got is just a couple of beeps. Just the odd lost packet, and we can see we've got our full movement there. So, um, I'm going to have to go further, much further. So, I'll, I'm going to take the dogs for a walk into the nearby town, and we'll um, do another test and see how far I can actually go. But already, it is a massive improvement. It was um, barely getting reception down here with the stock antennas and with the new um, homemade V antennas, tuned ones, reception is excellent. So let's go for a longer walk and see what happens. Come here you two. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Little beeps. Hold up, on the status. <laughs> Neighbors, dogs. Come on, come on, move it. We might be getting some interference from these houses. I've completely lost reception, but. There we go. God. So the radio is beeping quite a lot and in some way, somewhere down there, I'm around the corner a bit, so I'm definitely not line of sight. But I dare say I'm still getting something. Not 100% sure. Down there is our Balion del Diablo waterfall, and that's the main road goes into the tunnel. I'm going to go around the outside. I'm hoping the reception's going to get better. We've got the dogs off the lead now, so I can walk a bit easier. Okay, I'm recording this in post. I just wanted to point out that my uh, the. I reached the two gigabyte limit on my small uh, Olympus camera, so we're going to have to just listen to the beeps now instead. And I guess from the previous OpenLRS testing videos, you'll be able to tell when I have control or when I don't have control. So if you can hear that now, that sort of sporadic beeping is. You know, you, you've still got control, but it's the sort of thing that you'd want to start turning back on. Anyway, I'll um, we'll continue on, but sorry, I hit the two gigabyte limit, and I'm not about to go out and rewalk this whole thing just to get that little bit of footage. Bit of a bummer, but anyway, but moving on. not beeping at all so I should have good reception there. It was beeping all the way walking up this path but I had a lot of trees between me 
and the radio should the receiver is somewhere behind those trees at the top of that cliff probably about there somewhere I've got a few power lines and stuff in between me too shouldn't affect it but I expect as I go around the corner up here the signal will get worse if not drop out altogether I do expect it to drop out entirely as I go around this, towards this gully. So I'm well and truly around the corner here, nowhere near line of sight, and I'm still getting... It's still working. When it's beeping like that doesn't necessarily mean I've lost the link. Remember if we go away from the telemetry mode you get an even longer range but then you don't get this feedback <laughs> fail safe should be kicking in now yep let's keep moving okay i just thought i'd explain in post a bit more about the beeps and what it is now i made a little a small change to the source code so the tone will vary you can hear the tone varying varying there now what's happening you've got to remember this is a two-way system so the receiver is sending back telemetry packets back to the transmitter and those those packets have the rssi value that is being received at the receiver so that comes back to the transmitter and if those packets stop coming through the base open LRS uh, firmware will beep but it won't beep with any particular tone it will just do a constant beep so I threw in just a little bit of extra code that reads that RSSI value which has already been sent to the transmitter and represents that as a high or a low tone so if it's a high tone that means at the point that you started losing your telemetry packets the signal was very good so a short beep is not going to be a problem it's just uh, after you lost packets and if it's a very low tone it means the point where it lost the uh, packet the reception was very bad and if you get a really constant low tone coming coming that's beeping that means you're in a lot of trouble and you've lost reception completely but if you got a real a constant high tone it might mean something like the receiver has failed or something like that anyway um, moving on let's keep walking Now this is a good view, I'm it's a bit difficult holding both at the same time but the receiver is down there behind the trees somewhere. And if I hold the cat the radio away from the if I hold the radio up like that. No worries, I got a good signal. So let's keep going. All right, it stopped recording there somewhere, but. Try and resync this video. I think, you know, I haven't completely lost reception, but it's not doing very good at all. Let's keep moving. This is a local soccer field where I like to come and 
fly sometimes. Pretty hardcore soccer field this one. You don't want to fall on it. Just for reference, I'm behind a whole lot of buildings, somewhere beyond that church. I'm down a bit. And I think it's still getting a signal. It's beeping away like mad. Lots of drop packets. So if I was flying, I wouldn't want to go this far anyway. So there's um, a whole lot of trees and a whole lot of open space and a whole lot of buildings. And I'd say a kilometer or maybe more. I'll measure it with a GPS later. Okay, so this is the area in Google Earth and this is, all these are old track logs because I used to do a lot of um, overland driving and I'd save everything and the straight lines are where you go through the tunnel. This is our road that I walked along and the other road goes around here, it's not really shown. And our place is here, beginning battery. So, and I'm about, I put the receiver about there and we'll measure it and line of sight, I went to about there, which is 1.35 kilometers. And just to put it in perspective as well, uh, this is a topographic map of the area. Our place is about here where my mouse pointer is and Rio Verde is about there. And you can see it's it's very mountainous, but that's a bit of line of sight. Let's zoom out, show you the area I live in. Very, very mountainous. Here's the volcano, Tungarua, our nearby volcano. A lot of people ask me where I live. There you go, that's where I live. So, just south of the USA. So yeah, there you go. It's not strictly an open air test. Doing that, I'll have to climb a mountain or something or two to do that properly. But, you know, it works for a whole lot of buildings and stuff. And I'm pretty sure the FR Sky stuff would get nowhere near this far. On 100 milliwatts, yeah, that's pretty cool so far. So, cheers. Thanks for watching. Okay, the boys at Stone Blue Airlines have just done some really good testing of all the LRS gear. That's really worth a look. Really um, long video, but well worth a look. Flight Test have done a video on that video, basically a summary. So that's worth a look as well. And Stone Blue Airlines also have a little quick unboxing of the uh, open LRS gear from Flytron as opposed to the stuff that I bought. Now, I'm going to, I've got in the works a video on how to put together the open LRS stuff. Well, the way I did it, this is not for the faint-hearted. And I'm also planning on doing one that'll look into the uh, open LRS NG code a bit more in depth and all the options and stuff on that. So yeah, cheers. Click on the links, click on the videos. If your clicking isn't working, you need to turn on annotations. Cheers. Catch you later.